Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, this is kind of like a follow-up review of, on this device, the Passport IQ. Um, so now that I've had, you know, a few months experience with this device, uh, you know, I'm not going to give it as positive a, as a review as I would have hoped. I was really optimistic at first, but now that I've kind of tested out the radar, um, you know, on my commute, when I work a few days a week, I'm usually passing uh, people with radar. So, a few things are, I wish the range was more. I mean, this thing's range is just pathetic. I want to say it's like a quarter mile, but I'd be generous if I was giving it that. So, uh, there's that. I wish it had more range. Also, that lockout feature I was talking about before, that it would, you know, go around three times, and then it would automatically lock out that signal if it was like an automatic door. Uh, you know, it's a nice thought, but it's not flawless, and it does lock out some signals, but oftentimes it, it will forget a signal even after it's locked out, or, you know, just either that or there's just so many signals in the area from automatic doors, it just kind of gets an overload and sometimes just won't lock one of them out. So, that was another thing. Uh, the GPS, I, I like the GPS a lot, that works fine, no complaints about that. I like the speed monitor that I have up right now. It shows the speed. That's always nice, especially at night time. Uh, but that's it, yeah. Just really not as... Didn't live up to my expectations, which I guess I shouldn't be surprised. So uh, if you guys have any other questions, just po post it down in the comments section, and I'll see what I can do and respond. All right? See you later.